Jim here from Hypertherm. Uh, just want to talk uh, briefly about um, different materials that can be cut with, uh, with an air plasma cutting system that would typically be used on a, a 5x10 CNC cutting table like this. Um, um, typically, uh, the, the most commonly cut metal for sure is mild steel or carbon steel. Uh, or just plain steel. Anything that has, uh, uh, the, the, you know, that's 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 related to steel typically cuts pretty well. Uh, so, um, and also aluminum is fairly common, uh, not quite as common as mild steel uh, and stainless steel. They all cut very good with a plasma cutting process. In fact, anything that conducts electricity will cut with a plasma cutting process. Uh, although the three materials we just talked about, uh, mild steel, aluminum, and stainless steel, do the best job. Uh, the thickness that you can cut on these materials is totally dependent, not on the CNC cutting table, but on the plasma cutter itself. Uh, PowerMax 125 that we're using on this system can, uh, can pierce up to one inch thick and can edge start and sever two inch thick material. Uh, that's the largest air plasma. Uh, when you go down to a 45 amp air plasma system, you typically are going to be uh, piercing and cutting in the half inch range and thinner. Uh, so there's a lot of different systems in between those that can cover all of the thickness ranges. Cut speeds. Um, a lot of people compare plasma cutting to, say, laser cutting, water jet cutting, oxy fuel cutting. Those are the major cutting processes that are out there. Um, plasma is typically the fastest on all those materials, especially as you get into up, up as much as about an inch thickness with an air plasma cutting system. Uh, water jet's going to probably, it is definitely going to produce a better cut, but it's going to be uh, considerably slower and a little bit more cost, considerably more costly per foot of cut. Uh, same thing with laser. So plasma is a really good uh, low cost cutting option for, for the three major materials, uh, steel, stainless steel, and aluminum. Um, the, we could spend a lot of time talking about all the little tips and tricks uh, in regards to cutting, getting the best cut, getting a nice clean cut edge with no dross or slag on the back side of the cut. Um, that's, that's probably left, better left to a longer video where we can talk just about um, cut quality issues. Uh, another thing that comes up quite often with plasma cutting, however, uh, is the heat affected zone. Plasma is a very hot process. The, the arc that comes out of that plasma cutting torch can be as much as uh, 30 or 40,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, um, but the, situ the, the thing is, the arc is forced into a very narrow column and the torch moves along on riding on this CNC cutting table at very high rates of speed. Because it, because it cuts very fast, there's very little heat that actually gets imparted into the material. In fact, the heat affected zone that, that creates a chemical or metallurgical effect to the edge is typically less than 10 thousandths of an inch thick. Uh, if you want to get rid of it, hit, hit it with a grinder. It'll come off in about one pass with a grinder. Uh, uh, and in most cases, uh, this, one, this part right here hasn't been touched. Uh, it's perfectly good to use. You can weld that edge. You can do a lot of things with it. So um, heat affected zone, cut quality issues, um, cut speeds, those things, they're all covered in the manual that comes with the plasma cutting system. Basically, follow the rules in the manual. Do use the cut speeds that the manual suggests. Uh, use the consumable parts, the nozzles, electrodes, and so forth in the torch that are suggested in the manual, uh, and set everything, the cut speed, amperage, um, uh, volt, arc voltage levels, uh, exactly like the manual says, and you're going to get a cut that looks like this, very nice looking cut. Um, uh, if you want more detail, more help with uh, cut quality issues, uh, call the experts at Hypertherm and call the experts that uh, build these CNC cutting tables. Uh, they're, they're the guys that can uh, steer you in the right direction and tell you whether or not plasma is a perfect process for your application.